Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Screen Line, I'm joined by my mum. So we're going to do some Greek Christmas cookies called Gouda Piedes. So I'm going to get my mum to go over the ingredients so we can get started. We've got some sugar, some self-raising flour, one egg, and some unsalted butter. Okay, alright, so first thing to get started... Is we cream the butter with yep. the sugar. Yep. So butter needs to be softened. So we're just going to use a hand mixer for this. So when we cream the butter, we want it to be nice and white and fluffy. So uh, yeah, just get it as white as you can. You basically want to make sure that all those ingredients are mixed in. I also forgot to mention that we've got some almonds, some crushed almonds here as well, which are going to go in the in the biscuits. Um, so what are we doing? Now we, we now add the egg. Yep. That's well mixed in. Yep, so, okay, so next we're gonna put in our gluten-free, what? Next we add the oh, almonds. Okay. Yeah, so the almonds or any kind of a nut are optional, so you can leave them out. Okay, so yeah, if you um, have a nut allergy, enough, um, you don't have to put them in. So just give them a quick mix again. So next, we're doing this by hand. Or no, mix it first and then finish it off by hand. Okay. So one cup at a time? Yeah, one cup at a time. Be slow. Slow, slow. Alright, so the rest we're going to mix by hand. Scrape the bits from the side. Make sure you're getting everything. Yep, I'll do that. Kind of squeezing and making sure that everything is mixing in properly. We need to get a... Crumbly texture. Is that right? Yeah, because this is quite a crumbly cake. If it's kind of coming... Biscuits. Sorry. Biscuits. <laughs> so if it's coming together like a, like a perfect dough, that might be too soft. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to work with, you know, when you're making the biscuits, but um, that's just the way this biscuit is. You know, every Greek is going to have a different recipe, but this is the way that we make ours. So, um, you know, this is our recipe. It's got, the dough has to be quite it's firm, more, actually. Yeah, it has to be quite firm. So look, like in the, I'll, I'll put the recipe on the scramline.com, but you know, because we're using gluten-free flour for these um, Christmas recipes, it might be that you're just looking for the texture that you can see in these videos. So, uh, you know, the amounts will be in the recipes, but because you know, you, you might be using a different brand, every brand of gluten-free flour is like a different blend. So um, it could depend on which kind you're using, but Basically, you'll be looking for the texture that you can see in these videos. I think that's actually the right texture. It's kind of like to the stage where it's almost too crumbly to come together, but it does come together still. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this bowl aside and we're going to show you how to shape these. So we're just putting our um, cookie dough on top of the, you know, our bench. And what we're doing, it's, it's not one that you can roll out. It's one that you're going to have to, you know, flatten with your hands like, you know, back in the stone age. Firmly pack. You've yeah. got to firmly pack the dough yeah. or the mixture and work with it a little bit yeah. with your hands now, to like heat it up. Depending, depending on your um, bench, you might need to put a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick, but this is okay because we're using the chopping board. But you want it to be about the thickness, you know, about the thickness of your little finger. Yeah. 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 Greeks never say by measurements, they just say by, you know, by look or whatever. So we're just using some cookie cutters 
I like to wiggle mine around to get it out. So over here, we're going to put our baking tray. You don't need um, baking paper for this because there's that much butter in it that it's going to, uh, it's going to come off straight away. You're just basically like packing it all together and like flattening it with your hands. All right, so we're going to pop these in the oven. Is it for about 10 minutes? About two minutes until they're just lightly very lightly golden. Coloured. You don't want these to colour because they cook on the bottom more than they, they show on the top. So if they if these overcook and they brown too much, they'll be bitter. They won't be nice because they're not a very sweet biscuit. They're going to be covered in sugar, and we're going to show you how to do that bit next. All right. So with our biscuits, they've come out of the oven, and what you want to do is you want to let them cool down for a day because otherwise. Uh, the, the, the icing yeah, the sugar, icing sugar just melts and it goes really sticky and it's not nice. You want these to be like stay powdery and, and nice. So it's just as simple as putting them in the icing sugar and just rolling it around. And that's it. Alright, so we're going to do the rest of these. You can keep doing them. You guys are going to find the recipe on thescramline.com. If you want to follow me during the week, you can do that on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure that you share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scramline.